On Wall Street today, the markets bounce back a bit, with traders swooping in to buy up beaten down stocks following yesterday's massive sell off. Also encouraging investors, a report showing that factory orders rose for the third straight month if you take out the volatile auto and aircraft sector. The Dow rose 72 points, the Nasdaq was up 34, closing above the key 4,000 mark again, and the SP added 13 points. Now, with the Dow falling nearly 7 percent so far this year, many stocks have taken a beating. But for value hunters, this could be a buying opportunity, especially in many of the well-known names. Dominic Chu has more. The word correction is making its way back into trader and investor chatter. Generally speaking, a correction is loosely defined as a pullback in the stock market by 10 percent or more. Within the S&P 500 index of large cap companies, over 100 stocks have hit that mark and around 30 stocks are within striking distance of that mark. This does represent a buying opportunity for some experts. If we're in a bull market, this pullback is giving us a really good entry point, something we haven't seen in, you know, seen in months actually. So I'm actually pretty encouraged, but I do think people have to be careful. So if you've got the stomach, these are some of the names that are making their way onto investor shopping lists in case markets do manage to recover from losses. They're big, blue-chip, well-known companies. Take diversified manufacturing company 3M. You know, the ones who make everything from Post-it sticky notes to Scotch-Brite sponges and cleaning supplies. It's a Dow component, and it's down 10% this year. Integrated oil giant ExxonMobil does everything from extract the stuff from the ground to refining and selling it as gasoline. Its shares have fallen by 11%. And then there's General Electric, which makes everything from refrigerators and light bulbs to aircraft engines and locomotives. GE is the worst performing stock in the Dow this year, off by 12 percent. Still, there are those who believe that stocks have further to fall and now may not be the time to get into the market. I think that really depends on the investor's time frame. But if you're really looking for the perfect timing to buy in, chances are these types of sell-offs last longer than just a handful of days or weeks, and so there might be a better buying opportunity coming down the pike. Of course, the decision to buy and sell stocks depends a lot on how long you're willing to wait and what your risk tolerance is. In any event, prudent advice is to proceed with caution. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.